What do you think about marathon training then? Hello, I'm Victoria and I live in Worthing. I'm 44 years old. I've chosen the inaugural Dorchester Marathon as my first for um, personal and emotional reasons. I was born in Dorchester, it's my hometown. I grew up on a farm nearby. As a kid I was very active. I enjoyed pony riding, I was a member of the pony club. I used to enjoy swimming as well, but then in my teenage years I started to get really bad knee pains and I was told that I had juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. It felt comfy. Right, did you drink all your water? No. Still got some left? Loads left. Okay. How about the hills? Did you climb? What did you do? I did a lot of walking. <laughs> right. Two oh seven. Can't argue with that at all. So I gave up my sports when I was about seventeen, I think it was. Nobody really knew the root cause of the knee pain. I was always prescribed anti-inflammatories. I've had several steroid injections. Hello. And then in two thousand and ten, just after I had my first child, I was recommended to see a consultant in Hove. So we were discussing the options of quite an invasive surgery to realign my kneecaps. So I had six weeks with my leg in a brace and then once I took the brace off, I couldn't move my leg at all. Good morning, welcome to Film My Run. Welcome to the inaugural Dorchester Marathon and the Casterbridge Half. We're running the marathon. This is Victoria's first marathon. So let's see if we can get around in three and a half hours, shall we? So I had months and months of physiotherapy and hydrotherapy to get my leg working again. Then, I think it was about 18 months after my first operation, I had my second knee done. It starts with small things and I gradually progressed. I couldn't believe it when I did my first five kilometres. My friend Tanya persuaded me to sign up for a ladies 10k race in Worthing, Christmas Cracker. And I reluctantly agreed to do it and I said I'll do this one race and then I'm dropping back to 5k's again. I did the 10k and I quite liked it. My dad had problems with his kneecaps and had arthritis in them. Maybe that's where I've inherited it from, I don't know. But the operations that I've had will hopefully arrest the arthritis and hopefully I won't have any further deterioration of my knees. I had a little bit of a wobble. 11k. I think it's that mental doubt. I'm a quarter way in. I cannot really do this. It's hard work and it's starting to heat up as well, which isn't helping. But we're doing okay. Why did I choose to do a marathon? I'm not sure there was a choice. I think it was a foregone conclusion. My husband's run many marathons. I've got friends who've run many marathons. Everybody was nagging me that I had to do one. And it seemed easier just to sign up. I'm really struggling. I keep getting stitched. My legs are cramping. Trying to fit in a full-time job, spending the time that I want to with my kids, and then fitting in long runs, it's not an easy balance and it's physically draining, it's mentally tough. I've not always wanted to go out but I know that I had to go out. I'm a member of Worthing and District Harriers Running Club. We meet on a Tuesday and a Thursday. So I can highly recommend joining a running club, it's the best thing I've done. So many friends I've made, the encouragement, camaraderie, the competition. I think since my operations, 
have enabled me to run. I run because I can. I love it. It gives me a sense of freedom when we're running on the downs. It just clears my head. I'm going to do it. Even if I walk, I'm going to do it. The marathon's being co-organised by the Casterbridge Rotary Club, which is close to my heart. It's um, my late father's Rotary Club and they supported us enormously through some difficult times. I think my dad would be really proud. He never saw me run. I run because I can. I love it. I think my dad would be really proud. <laughs>